A Fort Knox soldier is indicted for manslaughter following a fatal crash. The indictment comes months after the accident. 27 year old Michael Frederick is serving with the 19th Engineer Battalion at Fort Knox. WLKY's Annalisa Gale has the latest on the judge's decision to restrict him to base and what's next for him. Annalisa? Rick, Michael Frederick will, it will, is currently living off base, but he will now have to be back at Fort Knox following today's court appearance. With the fact the grand jury saw fit to, in, to increase the seriousness of this matter, with the evidence they heard, I, I think a restriction to base is not, not out of line. Accompanied by his attorney and a representative from Fort Knox, 27 year old Michael Frederick faced a judge, this time facing a more serious charge for causing a crash on July 3rd, 2014, which left 37 year old Richard Lawler dead. Kentucky State Police say Frederick was speeding when he crossed the center line and slammed into Lawler's motorcycle on Deckard School Road and putting two other lives in danger. Uh, one um, of those is a, a passenger in the vehicle that was with the Defendant. Another uh, was a passenger in another vehicle. Obviously, some uh, collision reconstruction was done, and based upon their analysis, they there was a charge. In November, Frederick was arrested and charged with reckless homicide, but the charge was upgraded to manslaughter. He is also facing two counts of wanton endangerment. According to current law, uh, the manslaughter could be a five to ten year sentence. The difference is the conduct of the individual, and they're looking at uh, reckless conduct versus wanton conduct. And your plea? Interplea not guilty. Okay, uh, plea of not guilty on the indictment. Frederick remains out of jail on a $25,000 unsecured bond. He is allowed to travel outside the base for a second job as a mechanic. He joined the Army in April 2012, and he has been at Fort Knox since August of 2012. If convicted, he could spend up to 20 years in prison. I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.